What is up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're back with another Skyrim build. Today's build is called The Priest. The Priest is a Dark Elf, and he was born and raised in Skyrim. He wanted to help people, so he decided to be a Priest of Mara. Being a Priest of Mara, he learned how to heal people and take care of the sick. When a civil war started in Skyrim, he grew very angry, because he, he knew there was nothing he could do to stop the bloodshed while remaining at the temple. He decided to leave the priesthood in the temple, and order to track down Ulfric Stormcloak to make him stop his rebellion that was tearing apart Skyrim. On his way to track down Ulfric, he got caught near the border in an Imperial ambush and was taken captive. He ended up meeting Ulfric Stormcloak, but not really in the way he wanted. After that, he learned that he was Dragonborn, and now he is using those powers to stop the Civil War and all bloodshed in Skyrim and make it a peaceful nation once again. For the priest's main skill, you have Restoration, Alteration, Destruction, Enchanting, and One-Handed. Restoration is pretty important for this build because you are a priest, so you're pretty adept in using Restoration to heal yourself. Advord Death is a really good perk. It allows you once a day to heal 250 points automatically if you fall below 10% health. It's a real good lifesaver and I recommend picking it up. Alteration, you use this for your Mage Armor, your Flesh Spells. Make sure to get the Mage Armor perk to make sure that your stone flesh spells work way better. Destruction is your damage ability. Enchanting is really good. And since you are a priest, you're trying to burn away all the bad things in the world. So you can get the fire enchantment to be able to use uh, fire enchantments on weapons and armor that are 25% stronger. And if you run out of magicka, you can always use one handed. I recommend using a mace in one hand and casting spells in the other. So you might want to get some points into here to make sure your one-handed actually does some damage. So for the weapons and armor, pretty obvious for your armor, you're actually going to be using robes. Actually use the monk robes. You can get this at the clothes shop in Solitude if you don't find it anywhere else on the map. For your weapons, the only weapons that you actually be using is your one-handed sword or mace that you're going to be using. You can use Dawnbreaker if you really want to, but I just use a enchanted steel mace. I really like it. And it kind of is basic, like you don't really know how to use one-handed weapons, which the priest isn't really in-depth in using one-handed weapons, but it's a good way to use it if you run out of magic. Also, for your armor, you can also have your rings, your jewelry, and stuff like that that you can enchant, because enchantment is one of your best abilities you have and skills you have. Enchant this with anything that would decrease magic costs for destruction, alteration, or restoration to make sure you can cast your spells constantly. Spells that you'd be needing... Restoration, you want to make sure you have a healing spell, you want to make sure you have a ward spell to be able to fight other mages, and destruction, I use the fire spells, so fireball um, or fire bolt is really good as well, and you need your flesh spells to be able to stay alive for alteration. For the stats, the stat spread on this is pretty obvious, you want to have a lot to magicka because you're actually going to be using mostly spells, so I recommend probably like a 70-30 split between magicka and health. Stamina is not really important. If you really want something for stamina, you can enchant something of your armor or your jewelry to increase your stamina, but I don't really care to use that much stamina. So for the gameplay of actually how you're going to be playing this is that you're pretty much going to be going around trying to stop bloodshed. You're not really passive. You're actively trying to destroy anything that is evil in the world, and you're kind of trying to purge anything that's bad. You also want to try to stop the civil war, mostly by civil means because you don't really want people of your nation fighting each other, and you don't really want to kill either side because you think that Skyrim should be a united nation and not fighting each other. But how you're going to be able to do this is by casting spells in one hand, or you can dual cast spells. What I usually do is I have a damaging ability in one hand and have my enchanted fire mace in the other hand. That way you can whack on people and cast spells on your other hand, whether that be a fireball or fire bolt or maybe even a healing spell or a ward to keep yourself alive. I kind of use your one-handed as your most damaging ability, and if you are fighting an enemy that's really tough, you can dual cast your destruction magic to use the impact perk to stagger people, which is pretty good. If you have any trouble with the gameplay, just make sure to keep an eye on the video that's playing through this, that way you can kind of see how I play it, and that might actually help you out a little bit. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Also, if you want to check out previous builds, make sure to check these out here, and also click the link at the top if you want to subscribe. Also, if you have any other build suggestions that you want to see on the channel, make sure to leave them down in the comments down below. I read everything. I might not respond to everything, but I definitely read everything.
But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and this is Clayton, signing out.